Hi friends, myself Priyankar Modoli from class 4 studying in MBS Public School. Today I am going to present English activity chart. So here I have presented this English activity chart. Let's keep a look. So this is English activity chart. Name Priyankar Modoli, class 4 B, roll number 38, MBS Public School. So what what activities I have made? Punctuation marks, nouns, pronouns, singular and plural, synonyms and antonyms, verbs, tenses, homophones, adjectives and adverbs. Let's keep a look at them. Punctuation marks. Here, full stop. Exclamation mark. And here is question mark. Here is comma. And here is inverted commas. Let's go. Nouns. What is the definition of nouns? A noun is a word used as the name of a person, animal, place or thing. Such as person. Ram, Gita, Muna, Chinu. Animal. Tiger, dog, cat, goat. Place, India, Park, Hospital, School. Think, Chair, Table, Bat, Pen. Rook. Types of Nouns. There are six types of nouns. Common Noun. A common noun is a word used for the general name of something such as person, animal, place or thing. For example, Country, city, girl, school, park, hospital, boy. Proper noun. A proper noun is the name of a particular person, animal, place or thing. Examples of proper noun. Delhi, Ganga, Meena, America, Mr. Das, MBS Public School. Collective noun. A collective noun is a word for a group of things, people or animals. Collective noun examples are pride, a group of lions, swarm, a group of bees, colony, a group of ants. Material noun. A material noun is the name of the matter or substance which other things are made. Examples of material noun are Plastic, glass, gold, cotton, paper, silver, milk. Abstract noun. An abstract noun is a word for something that can't be seen or touched. For example, truth, fear, happiness, friendship. Concrete noun. A concrete noun is a noun which refers to the thing we can see or touch. For example, chair, table, bat, ball, water, money, and sugar. So let's move to our next project which is pronouns. What is the definition of pronouns? A pronoun is a word which is used in the place of a noun. Types of pronoun. Personal pronoun. A personal pronoun is a short word you, we use as a simple substitute for the proper name of a person. Examples, I, we, he, she, it, they, me, us, mine, and you. Relative pronoun. A relative pronoun is a pronoun is one which is used to refer to nouns men mentioned previously whether they are people places, animals, or things. Example, who, who, whose, that, which. Interrogative pronoun. Interrogative pronouns are pronouns that are used to ask questions. Example, what, which, who, whose, whom. Reflexive pronoun. 
Replacive pronouns are words ending in self or self that are used when the subject and the object of a sentence are the same. Example, myself, herself, ourselves, itself and himself. Demonstrative pronoun. A demonstrative pronoun is a word that used to point to something or someone specific. Example, this, that, these, those. Distributive pronoun. Distributive pronouns are the pronouns which are used to refer to more than one noun separately. Example, each, either, and neither. Indefinite pronoun. Indefinite pronouns are the pronouns that does not refer to any particular person or thing. Example, anybody, everyone, anything, someone, and something. So, so let's come to my other project and that is singular and plural nouns. We're gonna start with regular nouns add s. For example, boy, boys. River, rivers. House, houses. Dog, dogs. Then ends in s, ch, sh, x or z add es. For example, bus, buses. Box, boxes, quiz, quizzes, church, churches. Ends in consonant plus y, remove y, add e, i, e, s. For example, puppy, puppies, city, cities, enemy, enemies, lady, ladies. Ends in f or f, e, remove f or f, e, add v, e, s. For example, knife, knives. Cough, coughs, life, lives, thief, thieves. So let's come to my other project and that is synonyms and antonyms. So we are going to start with this one. Scared, synonym, afraid. Antonym, calm. Difficult, synonym, hard. Antonym, easy. Good, synonym, fine. Antonym, Bad. Large. Synonym. Big. Antonym. Small. False. Synonym. Untrue. Antonym. True. Brave. Synonym. Courageous. Antonym. Coward. Clever. Synonym. Intelligent. Antonym. Stupid. Sorry. Synonym. Secure. Antonym, unsafe. Ignore, synonym, neglect. Antonym, notice. So let us verbs. Main verbs and helping verbs. So what is first the definition of verbs? That is, verb is a word that describes what the subject of a sentence is doing. Main verbs, helping verbs. Main verbs, teach, walk, run, Talk, sit, read, write, sleep. Helping verbs. Is, am, are, was, where, has, have, been. So let's move to my tenses project. Let's go. Past tense, present tense, future tense. First we'll start with past tense. Simple past. Sub subject plus V2 plus object. He went to school. Past continuous. Subject plus was, uh, was or where plus v4 plus object. He was going to school. Past perfect. Subject plus had plus v3 plus object. He had gone to school. Past perfect continuous. Subject plus had plus been plus v4 plus object. He had been going to school. Now let's go to the present tense. Simple present. Subject plus V1 plus S or ES plus object. He goes to school. Present continuous. S subject plus is or am or are plus V4 plus object. He is going to school. Present perfect. 
सब्जेक्ट प्लस हैज और हैव प्लस वी थ्री प्लस ऑब्जेक्ट ही हैज गॉन टू स्कूल प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट कंटिन्यूस सब्जेक्ट प्लस हैज और हैव प्लस बिन प्लस वी फोर प्लस ऑब्जेक्ट ही हैज बिन गोइंग टू स्कूल नाउ लेट स्टार्ट विद द फ्यूचर टेंस एंड दैट इज सिंपल फ्यूचर दैट इज सब्जेक्ट प्लस विल प्लस वी वन प्लस ऑब्जेक्ट ही विल गो टू स्कूल फ्यूचर कंटिन्यूस सब्जेक्ट प्लस विल प्लस विल बी प्लस वी फोर प्लस ऑब्जेक्ट ही विल बी गोइंग टू स्कूल फ्यूचर परफेक्ट सब्जेक्ट प्लस विल विल हैव प्लस वी थ्री प्लस ऑब्जेक्ट ही विल हैव गॉन टू स्कूल फ्यूचर परफेक्ट कंटिन्यूस सब्जेक्ट प्लस विल हैव बिन प्लस ऑफ बी फोर प्लस ऑब्जेक्ट ही विल हैव बिन गोइंग टू स्कूल सो नाउ लेट्स गो टू माई अदर प्रोजेक्ट दैट इज होमोफोन्स वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ होमोफोन्स Homophones are the words in which the pronunciation is same, but the spelling and meaning are di- are different. For example, C C. This meaning of C is salty water body. The meaning of this one C is look. Then hole hole, hole, hollow place, hole, all of entire. Dear dear, dear beloved. Deer, an animal. Tail, tail, tail. Story, tail. Hind part of an animal. Meat, meat, meat. Animal flesh, meat. Come together. One, one. A number. One, victory. So now let's go to my other project. That is adjectives. What is the definition of adjectives? An adjective is a word which describe a noun or pronoun. Types of adjectives. Adjective of quality. Adjective of quality describe the quality of a noun or pronoun. Example: beautiful, pink, old, and colossal. Adjective of quantity. Adjective of quantity describe the quantity of a thing. Example: few. many enough some and numerous possessive adjective possessive adjectives are the adjectives which show who or what of something belong to one example mine his hers theirs and yours interrogative adjective interrogative adjectives are those adjectives which modify a noun by asking a question example who what where whose home and which numeral adjective numeral adjective so how many persons or things are meant or the order which persons or things stand example certain several single first one demonstrative adjective Demonstrative adjectives are used to determine and identify or exp- the relative position of a time or space. Example: this, that, these, and those. Distributive adjective. Distributive adjectives denote each member of a class or group. Example: each, every, either, neither, any. So let's. move to my another project and the last project that is adverbs what is the definition of adverbs adverbs are words that qualifies the verbs adjectives or other adverbs types of adverbs adverbs of manner an adverb that tells us about the manner in which an action is performed example quickly and neatly adverbs of frequency an adverb that tells us how frequently an action is performed example annually and rarely adverbs of degree an adverb that tells us about the quality of an action example incredibly ex- and extremely 
so this is my last <coughs> so this is my last one project so friends please like share and subscribe my channel for more such educational videos and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment box